Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome in Tajri Lesson. Tajri Rules of the Quran to learn how to recite the Quran with teacher Shayma Bah. Today, inshallah, we will continue in studying the rules of prolongation, ahkam al wujud The lesson today is about al alif al madiya al sagira the small alif mat. Small alif mat. The definition of small alif mat is it's one of the shapes of Arabic diacritics, diacritics which. Uh, which show that the letter alif is not pronounced as a long vowel. It's placed in a word instead of a remove the letter alif. Like this. In the Quran, it's sometimes written above the letters. In standard Arabic spelling, the small alif isn't used. And it's written as a regular alif letter. Where do you where do we find the small alif mat in the Mus'haf? In Quran, where we find the small alif mat after the letter or above the letter ya or wow. Like this. Maliki. Can you see small alif mat in Maliki after letter mean? Sirata, Hada, Banaha, Hadani, Ta'a, Ila, or above, uh, above Ya, Ila, Dalika, Ataka, Yara, above Ya, Mata'u, after the letter. After the first step, let's start with small alif mad above letters wow and ya. Al alif al madiya the small alif mad above letters wow and ya. The is written above the letters wow and ya. For example, in this case. The letters wa and ya are pronounced are pronounced as alif mat. Okay. Small alif mat above wa and ya like this. Can you see? It's above ya. Okay. Above wa like this. Example for small alif mat above wow like wa manata. Okay. Above ya like ta nasara. Please repeat. Look at the word under this. Yura. If you want to develop your skills in reading. And listening watch the video to the end. Let's start with the first skill listening. To develop this skill, we will start it together. Correct the pronunciation. And what was Sahih? Okay. Number two is number two is pronunciation al ismat, not al alif al madiya al sagira. Let's start with correct pronunciation. Okay. Unlock the Sahir. Number one, it's incorrect to not open one's mouth in the correct amount so that the sound of Alif Mat 
is is it confused with the lesser sound bunda okay you should open your mouth like musa the correct pronunciation is musa the wrong is if you don't open your mouth it will be like this musa musa that's wrong number two confusing it sounds with ya yeah, and became like a lip mumala like this maliki the, the, the right is maliki the wrong is maliki maliki number three it's incorrect to confuse the sound of wow mad with the sound of alif mad. This happens when the alif mad is pronounced too heavily. Mufakhab. After the letters that are heavily pronounced, tafsir. Okay, like Khalidina. The right is Khalidina. The wrong is Khalidina. Oh, no, that's wrong. It's incorrect to lightly pronounce, pronounce the letter Aleph if it comes after one of the heavily pronounced letters. Like, Asahibu. The right is Asahibu. The wrong is Asahibu. Sa, so, no. It's a so, so, heavy, not light. It's incorrect. To pronounce Alex too heavily if it comes after one of the lightly pronounced letters, which are all the Arabic letters except the heavily pronounced letters. Okay, example this word. The right pronunciation is Anahar. The wrong is Anahar. Now it's time to leave you. That's great to see you today. Inshallah, in the next class, I will complete this lesson about Alif Madiya Kabira and complete studying how to develop two skills listening and reading. If this video is useful for you, don't forget to make, like, share, and subscribe. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته